Get ready to be engulfed in fear and suspense as we explore the hair-rising performances of horror maestros like Bill Skarsgård, Finn Wolfhart, and Mark Duplass in the top 10 picks for the most thrilling horror films on Netflix. Let's get started with number 10, Veronica. This pick follows the story of a teenager named Veronica who, along with her friends, conducts a Ouija session during a solar eclipse to contact her deceased father. However, the ritual unleashes a series of paranormal events that impact her and her siblings' lives. The film is set in Madrid in the 1990s and explores the growing psychological pressure and supernatural experiences that Veronica faces as she tries to understand and control the inexplicable forces around her. As the paranormal events intensify, Veronica becomes embroiled in a struggle to protect her family from unknown threats. The film is based in supposedly real events, adding an additional element of unease to the story. Let's continue with the ninth spot. We have Creep. The story begins with Aaron, a cameraman responding to an online ad for a one-day job. He heads to Yosef's house in a remote area, where Yosef explains that he is dealing with a terminal illness and wishes to leave a record of his life for his unborn son. As Aaron films the day, Yosef's behavior becomes increasingly strange and disturbing. Ah! Yosef reveals intimate details about his life and appears to have hidden motives. As the day progresses, Aaron begins to question his safety and realizes that Yosef's intentions are much darker than initially seemed. The relationship between the two characters becomes uncomfortable and terrifying, leading the plot into a psychologically intense territory. The film plays with the viewer's perception, creating a growing sense of paranoia and bewilderment. As disturbing secrets are revealed, the movie builds a suspenseful atmosphere that culminates in a shocking and unsettling climax. Justin, I think I'm gonna head back. In number 8, we have Thanksgiving. This movie unfolds as a group of friends find themselves trapped in the midst of chaos during Black Friday shopping in a store. As they try to cope with the madness of frenzied shoppers, a masked individual emerges with vengeful intentions. As the situation escalates, the masked individual unleashes a series of violent and terrifying events within the store. Relationships among the friends are put to the test, revealing dark secrets and latent conflicts. Meanwhile, the connections between the characters and the masked figure are explored, shedding light on their motivations and interconnected pasts. As the plot unfolds, the masked figure executes a sinister plan, plunging the store into total chaos. Suspense is maintained throughout the movie, as the protagonists struggle to survive and uncover the truth behind the identity and motivations of the masked individual. But why us? <laughs> Next, in seventh place, we have Bird Box. A strange worldwide event triggers chaos when unknown creatures cause people who see them to become extremely violent. What's going on? People describe seeing an entity that takes on the form of your worst fears. Oh my god! What are you looking at? What did you see? What is wrong with you? Please stop it! The protagonist, Mallory, along with other survivors, take refuge in a house. Confronting the threat of these creatures, they make the decision to embark on a dangerous blindfolded journey across the river to find a safer place. The film alternates between the present, where Mallory travels with her two children, and flashbacks that show how it all began and how the group of survivors formed. During the journey, they must rely on their other senses and avoid opening their eyes at all costs to prevent visual contact with these creatures, which can lead to madness and death. The story explores the constant struggle for survival in a world where the simple act of looking can have deadly consequences. In the sixth spot, we got the pale blue eye. The story follows a detective teaming up with a young Edgar Allan Poe to solve a series of mysterious murders at a military academy. The cadets are being killed and mutilated, and the detective, along with Poe, undertakes an investigation to uncover the culprit. As they delve into the case, dark connections between the characters are revealed, and the plot becomes entangled with secrets and conflicts. Throughout the film, violent and terrifying events unfold, and the protagonists struggle to survive while attempting to uncover the truth behind the crimes. The story unfolds in a suspenseful setting, exploring the relationships between the characters and shedding light on their interconnected motivations and pasts. Hanged himself last night. Before we proceed with our picks, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and give a big thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. At number 5, we have The Babadook. 
The story begins with Amelia, Essie Davis, a widowed mother struggling to raise her son Samuel, played by Noah Wiseman, who has challenging behavior and is obsessed with the idea of a monster called the Babadook. Samuel's fear comes from the mysterious pop-up book titled Mr. Babadook. The book describes the Babadook as a terrifying creature that will torment anyone who sees it. As Samuel's obsession with the Babadook grows, tension in the house also escalates. Amelia starts experiencing strange and disturbing events, becoming increasingly exhausted and psychologically affected. The line between reality and fantasy blurs, and Amelia begins to wonder if the Babadook is real or just a manifestation of her own emotional distress. Me and my child. You can't get rid of the Babadook. And here's a bonus series with excellent reviews that you must watch. The Haunting of Hill House. <laughs> it's over. The plot follows the story of the Crane family, who, after living in the ominous mansion known as Hill House for one summer, are affected by the paranormal events that took place there. The narrative alternates between two timelines. The first showing the family as children living in Hill House, and the second following their lives as adults, marked by the traumas of their past. The series begins with the Cranes, consisting of Hugh and Olivia Crane, as well as their five children, moving to Hill House with the intention of renovating it and then selling it. However, they soon discover that the house is plagued by paranormal phenomena. <laughs> Eerie events and ghostly presences haunt the family, especially the children, who experience terrifying occurrences. The mother, Olivia, is particularly affected, as she seems to be susceptible to the supernatural forces within the house. After a tragedy at Hill House, the family is forced to leave the mansion and confront the traumas they experienced. And with this one, we enter the top four with I See You. This pick is a psychological thriller directed by Adam Randall. The movie's plot is intricate and full of twists, so I'll try to provide you with a brief description without revealing too many spoilers. The story follows the Harper family, living in a small town where strange and disturbing events begin to occur. I'm sorry. Detective Greg Harper, played by John Tenney, leads the investigation into the disappearance of a local child. As the plot unfolds, the film takes unexpected turns and reveals dark secrets affecting the Harper family. Something strange about the house. How'd you get in here? Open this door! What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's continue with the third spot. It follows. We delve into the life of a young woman who, after a sexual encounter with her boyfriend, becomes entangled in a supernatural curse. Following the experience, she discovers that she is now being pursued by an entity that takes various forms and can only be seen by her. This entity relentlessly walks towards her, and if it catches her, will bring about deadly consequences. Jay realizes that the only way to free herself from the curse is to pass it on to another person through a sexual encounter. This puts her in a distressing and morally complex situation as she grapples with the decision to transfer the danger to someone else or face the deadly consequences of being caught by the entity. Somebody gave it to me and I passed it to you. Wherever you are, it's somewhere walking straight for you. All you can do is pass. We're almost to the top of our list. In the second spot, we have The Wailing. It's a South Korean horror film directed by Na Hoon Jin. The plot revolves around a small village where strange and violent events begin to occur following the arrival of an outsider. A local police officer, played by Kwat Duan, becomes entangled in the investigation of the supernatural events and must confront the mysterious forces threatening the community. The story unfolds with a dark and mysterious tone, exploring themes of superstition, paranoia, and the clash of cultures in a rural setting. As the villagers are affected by a strange illness and exhibit violent behaviors, the police officer embarks on a quest to uncover the truth behind the supernatural events. We have one more bonus for you, with a bonus series you can't miss, Midnight Mass. <laughs> This is another series created by Mike Flanagan. In this story, a charismatic priest arrives on a small remote island, Crockett Island, bringing with him miraculous events that awaken hope and faith within the community. However, as the miracles continue, dark secrets and supernatural forces emerge, 
threatening to unleash chaos. The plot follows Riley Flynn, who returns to Crockett Island after spending several years in prison. Upon his return, he encounters significant changes on the island, including the arrival of the charismatic father, Paul Hill. As the islanders experience miraculous events such as healings and resurrections, faith in the community intensifies. As the story unfolds, the island's dark secrets and the true nature of the miracles begin to surface, leading the community to confront moral and spiritual challenges. And with that, we've reached our final spot, IT. This isn't real enough for you, Billy. I'm not real enough for you. Oh, shit. It wasn't real enough for Georgie. <laughs> It is based on the eponymous novel by Stephen King. The plot centers around a group of children in the fictional town of Derry, Maine, who confront an evil entity that takes the form of their worst fears, but commonly assumes the guise of Pennywise, a terrifying clown. The group of children, known as the Losers Club, discovers that there is a series of disappearances and disturbing events in the town every 27 years. Together, they decide to face their fears and uncover the true nature of Pennywise, who feeds on the children's fear. As the threat grows, the children confront not only their personal fears, but also the need to come together to overcome the evil that lurks in their town. So, what do you think of our picks? Do you think we missed anything? If so, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Also, if you agree with our picks, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, as well as share this video with your fellow cinema enthusiasts.